Hey folks and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the two figures you see in the center here and on the right of both uh, Nanoha and uh, Amatsukaze from uh, Kanko. Now I've already unboxed the Shimakaze figure which was from Good Smile Company on the left here. You've already seen it. Um, it's pretty good quality. So I will not be unboxing that and getting it out again because it's back in its case for safety purposes. I've already actually gone through and removed both of these um, from um, their actual boxes to get rid of all the tape around the plastic, but I have not removed them from the plastic yet. So I will be doing that, but just to make it easier so I don't have to keep cutting it out of this video, um, it'll be a lot quicker. But I'll be starting with the Amatsukaze on the right, and then we'll work on the Nanoha, which is a large 1-4 scale. Um, Matsukaze is a 1 7 scale and the Shimakaze is a 1 8 scale. So you've already seen the Shimakaze. Let us begin with the Amatsukaze. I hope you guys like the video. Uh, feel free to comment on the on the figures or just comment on in general if you um, like the quality or just any thoughts you might have about the actual uh, video. Alright, with that, let's get started. Alright, so I've removed all the fluff. That was the other two figures right now. We just have the Amatsukaze right in front of us. So now looking at this figure, um, it is made by Funny Knights. Now, uh, this was released in December of 2015. Um, it just came out before I actually left the country, um, at least when I saw it on shelves. And um, I do know that Funny Knights also made a previous figure about a year ago, I believe, of Yukikaze. I assume in the next year they'll be making an Amatsu, sorry, a Shimakaze as well for the three Destroyer sisters. If you want to call them that. Um, overall, looking at the box and looking at the quality of the figure of when I've seen it displayed in stores, it's pretty good. It actually has a pretty good quality to it. Um, I especially like the base, which you'll see here pretty shortly, uh, which kind of has the wood feel to it, and it's also inscribed with a little something on it. Um, so I do enjoy that, but we'll definitely check it out and we'll open it up here and see what's inside so with that let's get it started here we go all right so here is the figure unboxed from its plastic which I removed from its box we will start by uh, taking out the base here and then working our way up so for the base of a Masukaze um, it's made of wood actually I like that and it's also got a little inscription on here that says uh, Karakawa Games All Rights Reserved, and it actually has, I believe, the name of the destroyer, Amatsukaze. So that's really nice. Uh, they also had one like this for Yuki Kaze. I really like this base, actually. It's very well done. Um, I will quick remove that from its case here. Now, it's interesting, too, because this is the first time I've actually seen a full wooden base. I've never actually seen a wooden base. I've only ever seen plastic. But I'm actually very happy, considering the price of this figure, which I will not be listing prices in this video for obvious reasons. Uh, but considering the price of this figure, um, it's pretty good quality. Now, it's not like, you know, fine oak or anything, but uh, it is wood, so that's what it kind of looks like. Um, as you can tell, it does have that wood sound to it, and it is made of wood. Um, and then there's little peg holes for her to set up on. So let's put that over there, and let's bring out a Matsukaze. Alright, now, Amatsukaze should be just one figure. don't think she has parts to her. Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, so... Now, Amatsukaze was actually one of my favorite figures. I forgot how you got her in Conkol. I believe she was for a holiday event once, around January of 2013, I want to say, is when she came out. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, overall... It's all one piece, so there is no assembly done to it, but um, it's got that new figure smell. You can tell she's got her gear, uh, her Risuchuchans, or whatever they're called. Sorry, I don't really know too much about the names. Um, and overall, the quality of the eyes, they are painted on. Sorry, let me just try to get a focus on it. There we go. They are painted on, so they're not, um, or they're, sorry, they're like, I don't think they're painted, I think they're stickers. Yeah, that's stickers. Sorry, um, but overall it's a good quality. Um, I really like the detail on this. Yeah, it's pretty good. Sorry, I'm trying to get as much shots. It's hard to keep an eye on the camera and the figure at the same time. Um, it is all one piece, and it just kind of sets up. So let's put her on her stand here and come back. Alright everybody, and there she is. 
This is a really nice figure. I really actually like this quite a lot. I think the detail is great. I'm going to put her down here and kind of just display her a little bit. I think the detail is great. Um, I especially like the craftsmanship that was put into it. Um, the stand is really nice. I like that placard. Uh, it's like saying Picard and placard at the same time. Um, I like that in the front there. Um, in terms of like just what the price I paid for this, which was actually pretty cheap, and the quality of it, like not being good Smile or Max Factory, it's really nicely done. And I really especially like the quality. Um, so I'm happy with this purchase. She can go well with my Shimakaze. And at some point I might actually buy that uh, Yuki Kaze as well, just so I can have all three sisters in my collection. Because Conical figures are a big thing for me. I definitely like them. I definitely want an I-58 as well. Um, and if ever a Hibiki figure comes out, I will get that. Because she's awesome. But I really... It, I mean, I like Conkle figures, they're really well done, so um, that's Amatsukaze, everybody, and for the second part of this video, we'll jump right to the Nanaha and get right back into it. So, thanks for watching about this one, feel free to comment on it, let me know what you think. And finally we have the Nanoha Takamachi figure, uh, which is a 1-4 scale, my very first 1-4 scale I have ever purchased. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. was very cheap. This was not that expensive. One reason is because it's used in the box. is a little like... It's pushed in a little bit. But um, it is Good Smile Company. So I'm not saying that my quality is going to be skimped out on here. But um, we will open the box and we will get right to it. Let's check it out. So before we remove her from the actual plastic, which I've taken off the top part over here. Um, let's check out the box. Um, I like Good Smile Company. They're a very good company. They probably produce some of the greatest figures. They're also responsible for the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Nendoroid figures as well. The Nendoroid series. Um, and I know some people are familiar with that. So, I'm pretty happy with it. This is my first 1-4 scale I've ever purchased. Um, let's check it out, shall we? Put that aside. Bring her in. Alright, what do we got here? Now first I guess I have to take out the figure. She is a big one. Wow. I've never actually held a... F this is... God, this is enormous. Oh my goodness. Oops, some of that plastic there. Okay, so the stand is on the bottom part. Let's remove that. Oh, and she just comes with a straight up. Oh, did I miss some tape? No, I missed some tape. Uh, sorry, guys. Alright, well, let's check out the figure. Alright, so she's got a couple plastic pieces on her here. Just getting rid of all those. There we go. Oh, she's got a lot of little plastic on her. Okay, well, here she is. That is extremely heavy. That is a big figure. Well, this is Nana, huh? Um, and my goodness, is she enormous. This is like a lot of weight on this figure. I've never gotten a fourth size scale. This is really actually, I mean, for being Good Smile Company, this is nicely crafted. I'm actually glad this is one of my 1-4 scales I purchased. That is really big. Let's set her up, shall we? And there she is. Fully assembled on her base. Now, this... <laughs> wow, this is enormous. Okay, so you have a little sanction stand on back here to kind of support the top heaviness. Because it clicks in down here in a little stand, and then you have this strong metal rod that kind of supports the back um, right thigh here, so it doesn't like tip over and fall. Um, overall, I think this is an amazing quality figure. Um, I mean, obviously it's not super super detailed, but uh, for being good smile and being a one four scale, that's pretty good. It's my first one four scale, so I'm glad I have a big figure now. So that is that, guys. Thanks for joining me in the video. I hope you liked all the figures. Um, comment on this one. Comment on all of them. Let me know what you think. 
even including the old Shimakaze video I did, which I will um, uh, have up still. So feel free to check it out, guys. Thanks for watching, and catch you in the next video. Peace.